Thank you, Bruce. Appreciate the time you've taken for this. Now it's time for the board to make any comments or ask any questions. I'll do the first one you'd like to say. I'd like to make a statement. Yes, ma'am. As one member of a non-member elected board of education, I am proud that I represent 15,500 students, 2,354 employees, and about 96,000 residents that reside in Cleveland County so far. The North Carolina Auditor's Office, the State Bureau of Investigation, this local board of education, and our superintendent and his staff have reviewed this information for approximately three years now. I want to be very clear that the information is the same information that has been was investigated by the SBI in, in, in uh, December of 2011. This board took action where needed, and there are still issues that are in place and continue to be brought up that people, some people in the county just will not let die. As a proud member of the board, I ran for this seat to help students. Our tax dollars are being wasted on what I believe is about 750,000 pages of information. I receive the emails every week requesting more and more and more information and it's the same request over and over again. This research is losing, causing us to lose our employees, is causing time, not to mention attorney fees, the reviews of information continue over and over again, and our estimate is it's cost us about $35,000. I believe that number is way I believe the taxpayers in Cleveland County, for which I represent, are ready to move on. I think we're tired of spending $35,000 on this. I think that the witch hunt that is out against some employees, it's time not one <coughs> ounce of factual information has been presented to, for me to believe that there is anything that has been done wrong in Cleveland County schools. I further believe that we need to focus on the positive future of the Cleveland County Schools as we look to hire a new superintendent that will lead us for brighter futures so that we can back, get back to the mission, which is educating students in Cleveland County Schools. Mr. Chip. Yes, sir. I'd like to say that for the past few years, as this has went on, it has been an extremely tough thing for our county. Cleveland County Schools prepared me for life. And I'm very proud to be a product of this system. I have lived in this county and read the reports that suggested that this system was embroiled in corruption and scandal. Um, I was not happy that this is the way that our school system has been characterized. Now, I do believe and wish that some things had not happened. Maybe we as a system dropped the ball with our communication. Hey, I was elected in December 2013. And some people even thought I was involved in some kind of scandal. Talk about communication snafus. But as we go forward, maybe we can communicate better. There has been a lack of trust between the community and the system. And I think we as a board, matter of fact, I know that we as a board want to fix that issue. Tonight, we saw our superintendent show us transparency in its finest form. I think you want more of that. And we will continue to do our best to make sure that you have that. How do we heal from such an event that has defined our school system for so long? Now, some of us don't always agree. But I do think that we agree on one thing. We want the best for our children. We want the best for their future. And I think that we go forward with that in mind. Now, some will go forward continuing to look in the past. To those people, I say, have had it. We live in the best country on earth and you are free to make the decisions that you choose. But as for me, it is the year 2014. I don't have a 2009 mentality when our kids are facing read to achieve right now. And I think that our employees and our teachers need support like they never have before. To the community, I say we need you. Not to think that we're doing something scandalous or corrupt, you can look at me and tell that that is not my wish. We want you involved. We need you at the table because to have a strong school system, we need an even stronger community. In the end, I will take a point of personal privilege and say this, a house divided cannot stand. And if you will, remember these words as I leave you. Behold, how good and pleasant it is 
for brethren to dwell together in unity. Thank you. Anybody else? Mr. Chairman, I, yes, I'm, I'm pleased with the superintendent's report. Uh, I don't go to the beauty salons, but I do go to the barber shops. <laughs> Probably not for very many more years, but for a while I've been there. And I've, I've heard the rumors of the beauty shops that, that, that people are getting massages on our dime and that we've bought them. So many outrageous things. And quite honestly, when my credit card bill comes in at the end of the month and I see what my wife has, has bought, sometimes I think that's outrageous. <laughs> But she's spending money in the household for our household. And it looks to me that's, that's what our staff is doing. Some of the purchases, I'll admit, in my opinion, maybe were unwise or imprudent. But they were for children, and they were for schools, and they were for the people of Clayton County Schools. And that's a far cry from being illegal. And that's what I've seen. The rumors of massages on their dime and, and the other outrageous things. When the light is shining on those things, it's just not based in fact. Uh, folks are entitled to their opinions. They're not entitled to their own facts. The facts are what the facts are. And I'm pleased that, that people are watching the store. I know when I was principal of Crest High School, I was usually the third signature on the document. I was usually the third signature. The teacher that requested whatever it was was the first signature. My bookkeeper had to sign that there was money in that account. That was the second signature. I was usually the third signature, and then I had to send it to Tony Fogelman or whatever the department was. And as you see tonight, most of these things have four or five signatures. Members that nobody's watching the score is not based in fact. There's lots of folks watching the score. And uh, as I say, there's, there's some purchases that, in my judgment, may have been imprudent, but I've not found anything. Yes, sir, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'd like to just uh, convey some of the similar thoughts. Uh, and I want to begin by saying how, how proud I am of this board to be proactive and somewhat uh, take the risk to uh, attempt to be more transparent this, uh, this evening in order to address this issue, nagging issue of trust and transparency. Uh, it was back in uh, January in March, respectively, 2012, following the response to the state auditor, uh, that this board proactively uh, instituted some steps and procedures to address, uh, you know, some of the issues that were uh, that, that identified at that time. And we came up with some recommendations and some procedures, and uh, as well as revising uh, and implementing new policies to address the issues of purchasing. So I was very pleased. I was very pleased to see our superintendent, uh, this year come forward to assure us that the policies that we have established were consistent and in line with the procedures and the processes that we have established. And it appears that it has been maintained from 2012 when those procedures implemented and to the present. So I'm confident. I do want to also express my great appreciation under difficult circumstances to our staff who sometimes did not receive the kind of proper appreciation and recognition and validation that I think they deserve uh, for the time uh, consumed in trying to provide you know, uh, information that has been requested by, you know, uh, by some of our public. And, uh, and I'm so thankful for your, uh, your work and uh, I hope that this information has validated. Uh, just like any organization, uh, we try to strive to be a problem solving organization. We identify the problem, we look at the root causes of it, we come up with recommendations to improve that, and then we move forward with the best resolution. And I think this board has established that problem solving process in this, in this measure. Sure, we would not be able to satisfy everyone, but at this point in time, I'm very pleased, very proud of the county. School board, as I represent you both locally, as I represent you statewide, on the state board, and as I represent you at the national level. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Mr. Chair, I'm um, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I worked in the school system for 38 years. I have nothing but the highest respect for all the people that work here. We've got over 2,000 employees. 
we were looking at a budget for next year of $150 billion. This is not a small potatoes operation. This is the largest business in Cleveland County, the largest employer in Cleveland County. We have people that have, that will have worked for many years, giving their life's work to helping our kids. We have teachers that will do anything that you would ask them to do to help the kids. We have principals that do the same thing. We have directors that will do the same thing. We have some great people working. Do they ever make mistakes? Yes. Do, do they always have perfect judgment? No. But is their heart in the right place? Are they trying to do the right thing for kids? And that I say unequivocally, yes they are. We need to be giving them our support. We need to be looking forward to the problems that we're facing in the future and not spend all of our time going backwards, looking backwards. We can mine these records for years if we want to. And from the mining that we've looked at, we found practically nothing of concern. I'm not saying they're not people, but, but minor, very minor problems. We can't spend all our time looking backward and expect to be successful in the future. We've got to move on. We've got to look forward. We've got to trust our people. We know you look around the teachers in this community, you look around and the administrators of this community, we've got some great people. And we need to put our trust in them that they're going to try to do the very best that we can. We look at members of this board, and we see many people here who have worked many, many years for our school, trying to support our, our students in this community. And they're trying their best. And yet, as a board member, I have heard repeated criticism coming from some. Nothing good being said about our school system, and there are an awful lot of great things going on in the school system. Our students are learning, they're doing a great job, and that's because of the hard work and dedication of our staff and our teachers. We need to give them a hand, we need to give them our support, and we need to put this whole mess behind us. Thank you. Unlike some of my colleagues, I don't have a written or prepared statement because I tend to go off script anyway. And so I just speak from the heart to say that thank you, Dr. Lewis, for this presentation tonight. Trust is very important to me. Um, I served on the Board of Education for 22 years, and I have always trusted the superintendent, whoever he was at the time. I have trusted the administrators. And I have trusted the teachers because, as Mr. Bull said, we have some wonderful people working, making sure that our students receive the very best education that they can. There are two things that I remember specifically when we interviewed Dr. Bulls, or as we were finalizing the agreement with him. I don't know exactly how he said it, but one was that we'd never meet anybody that pinched a penny even any tighter than you. You assured us that you would watch the dollars of Cleveland County Schools the same way you guard your personal finances and that you would make sure that we had adequate finances to take care of our students. You also said that integrity was of utmost importance to you and that you would not do anything that would cause us to doubt your integrity. And I believed you at that time, and I still believe you fully and 100%. As you were giving the presentation, and I looked out in the audience, and just, and your faces just kept popping up at me. Principals, assistant principals, department heads, teachers, and other employees. And I mean, it was just like, I mean, truly, I was just seeing you and thinking how proud I am of you and what you do for our students and how much it means to me tonight and I'm sure to the rest of us to have you here. We appreciate you and we trust you and we know that you're doing the very best that you can for our students. Thank you. Thank you for being here and thank you for what you do every day. We can't, you know, just looking at this very short presentation of, of expenditures, there's no way, and we are not supposed to, approve.
through every expenditure that goes through the school system. We hire people, we hire you because we trust you, and we hire people that you can trust to do this job. And I too want us to put this behind us. Um, it, it's, it's been a long time coming. The Cleveland County Schools is a great school system. <coughs> And the new superintendent that we hire, I think, will be very honored to come work for the Cleveland County Schools. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I like Ms. Miller didn't write anything down because I usually try to speak to the heart of what I'm thinking at a particular time. Having a wife as a teacher and having two small kids, I also, on my account, have some of the similar cost on my account as Cleveland County School talking about Victoria Stevens, talking about Sandy Stetson uh, Christmas, Christmas uh, Hobby Lobby. I understand what a teacher does and what's going on out here. Uh, we give gifts for teachers appreciation for the birthdays and when you know what, what this is going on, you know, I try to figure out why did we spend $30 at one of these places. While well, I look at it, and I know it was a, probably an appreciation gift to those teachers that my kids are getting. And I mean, it helps you understand what, what's going on out here. Uh, I worked over 30 years with the state of North Carolina. Every day I hear, I trust the people that I was with. And the reason I trust them because I depended on them because my life was at risk at all time, as theirs was too. Being a board member here with Cleveland County Schools, I trust the employees here. I trust Dr. Bulls. I certainly appreciate the presentation that he did and the hard work that he has put on and the hours and hours of work that he's done to get this information for us. So trust is important to me. Now hopefully that you trust me and trust the board members here. I remember a sermon that our preacher was gave several months ago, and I'll just say this, I'll just kind of briefly tell you a little bit about it, is here this weekend or next week, some of us are going to have the privilege of going to the beach for spring break. Or you've been to the beach during spring break or some other time. When you're out there on that beach, we build a sandcastle. Human nature, what's the first thing that child wants to do to that sandcastle? He wants to tear it up and step on it. Unfortunately, that's what is happening here. We are trying to build that sandcastle and build the best school district that we can, which I believe in my heart that we have. There's too many people trying to come and step on it and destroy it. That bothers me. I'm proud of our employees. I'm proud of our students. I'm proud of this board. Anybody else? Mr. Blank. I'm here for our teachers and our taxpayers and our teachers' assistants. I guess a lot of this leads back to me that I found some wrongdoing. Maybe not all of it is wrong, but it's bills. If it would show what it was used for, then other people and myself might have not had questions. Because I've got kids that, that don't have all of that writing on it. That should have been wrote on it. They should have followed the policy. If they had wrote that on it, then they might not have been any question at all. I'm for going forward. I'm for our teachers and our teachers' assistants. And I believe we should have cut out some of those billboards and we could have kept those, that hour on that teacher's assistant that needed in that classroom for that teacher. We need a teacher's assistant for every teacher in Cleveland County, as far as I'm concerned, for what they have to deal with today. Because we don't have the discipline that we used to have when we went to school. If you got a look in, when, when I went to school, you got two more when you got to the house. That don't happen anymore. It can happen. But where I'm getting back at, if we'd have followed the policies when all of that was taking place, then they might not be any of this here today. 
And we looked at a lot of big tickets, but there are hundreds of tickets for $15. And you take hundreds at $15, that could have better put another teacher's assistant in that room. Another pack of paper. I'm for our children. Some people might not think I am, but I am. And I'm for moving forward. But we had issues, and those people need to stand, and we need to stand as a system for the wrong, wrong. Whether it was little, whether it was big, we need to we need to stand on it. Because if a child gets in trouble, we stand on that. So I think that we ought to be responsible as adults for our actions too. They were, I was part of that, that pulled out those tickets, me and another. But there are hundreds of those $10 and $15 tickets. At dinner time, Dinner time wasn't enough. They went out and ate supper too. And I know that I'm going completely off from what the others think. But I'm, I run on the issue that I was here for the taxpayer for Clayton County and our schools. We need some new buildings. And we've got to start addressing these issues and save wherever we can save so that we can get that money together to build that new auditorium at Crest High School and at Burns High School, swimming pools at those places. I want that as much as anybody. And those bleachers and stuff, the reason I am, I guess I can speak about that now. I don't think you should, but I'm not going to stop. Uh, I'm not against those bleachers and that floor under no circumstance. I went and looked at that specifically myself. Those bleachers is in foul shape. The chains don't work to roll them back in. They're needy, terrible back. But we need to tighten our belts up about our authorities going out here and eating when we need it in them classrooms and in them schools. Bethware has got a river that runs down through the, in between the two buildings. The kids about got to have two pair of shoes when we have those bad friends. Kings Mount Vocational Building. Mr. Blank, I'm going to have to stop. The others have spoken from the heart and have gone on and I'm going to the heart too because I'm for our children. Mr. Blaine, I'm stopping you now. Thank you. Yes, sir. And I would like to address that for a minute. I personally disagree with Mr. Blaine. I don't agree with everything everybody else has said, particularly about speaking. I, I guess it's my age. I'm as old as Methuselah, so I have to have something written to make sure that I say what I want to say. But I made many notes during this time. I still think I speak from the heart. Bruce, I thank you very much for taking so much time to investigate so many questions when you realized yourself, without all that investigation, that the vast majority were appropriate. And indeed, I find it very enlightening that most of these incidents prove completely legitimate business expenses in support of our primary mission education of over 15,000 or 1,500 Cleveland County Schools students. Where it was not legitimate, uh, reimbursement was made. He pointed those things out also. It is, to me, it is very gratifying that this data reaffirms our faith. The board, the majority of the board's faith in the integrity of our administration, you, our faculty and our staff. I know there can be disagreement over the amount or direction devoted to some transactions, but in a free society, there will always be disagreement, but disagreement without rancor. A free society I define as one that values presumed innocence over presumed guilt, not the other way around. 
Furthermore, to quote a proverbial expression, and I know some board members don't like my expressions, there's more than one way to skin the same cat. For example, there may have been a different way to accomplish some of these tasks, but that's a matter of opinion. <coughs> the opinion of the majority of this board is that the vast majority were not only appropriate but necessary for some of the things that Mr. Blank just mentioned. The food for kids, the schools, shoes, school, shoes for kids. It is my opinion that our superintendent, administrator, faculty, and staff are to be congratulated and thanked for their efforts. And I do that. I, <clears throat> I cannot speak for the board, but I feel that the majority of the Cleveland County Board of Education welcomes any information or question concerning our operation and will opt to treat each piece of information, suggestion, or allegation in the appropriate manner, reasonable, reasonable manner that does not interfere or delay in our, our primary mission, as I've mentioned before, consistent with state and federal law. <clears throat> That being said, our board as an elected body of diverse individuals coming from different, many different backgrounds and representing many diverse individuals is determined to achieve the best educational product for our students in the most efficient manner, utilizing the best universally accepted public business models, including annual professional art. Over the last few years, we have spent over $35,000 investigating allegations, questions, requests, and suggestions with very, with very little, in fact virtually, no return. When we have found areas needing change or modification, we have made them. The SDI conducted an extensive investigation with the full cooperation of Cleveland County Schools and submitted it to the District Attorney. Although he did not release the report to the public, he apparently did not find enough evidence to prosecute a single person, not even one. In view of this information just imparted to us, I feel we must move forward in the best interest of our students. And I suggest that spending that $35,000 did not do that. It did not even include the cost of the time expended and taken away from taking care of those students. Uh, <clears throat> I personally feel that the families of those students and the students want us to, to continue to expend such time and financial expenditures on their benefit rather than these investigations. But we will continue to welcome the comments in the future as we have done in the past. I think we need to go on to the next item on our agenda. And it's student transfer requests. What's the pleasure of holding? The commission will approve the student transfer request to the student recommended by the city of Texas. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we approve the transfer request as recommended by the superintendent's office. Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passes you now, so thank you. Dr. Boyles, do you have any announcements? Thank you, Chairman. I will remind you that we do have some events coming up. Just I'll be brief. May 1st is our Senior Scholars Banquet uh, at the Brand Center. I know uh, Mr. Shull is in the with that. We appreciate the artist that did the cover and the the ball will be there. And then I will remind you uh, that we've got some events on June the 6th and 7th at Shelby High School. Graduation on Friday night the 6th. And then the seventh will be Kings Mountain Crest and Burns graduations. I uh, hope you will have those on your schedule as well. We'll talk at uh, the upcoming meetings of active participation today, so if you'll be checking the calendar to see if you're about to do that. That's awesome. Thank you. There being no further business, then I'll do I hear a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. And moved and seconded and adjourned. All in favor say aye. 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 aye.